Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at Titch Muller by Wendy Cope. Very popular junior cert poem. Can be studied at higher level or ordinary level. Uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at a quick summary. We're going to go through the themes, the messages, and the poetic devices. Okay, so first verse. Titch Muller wore glasses with elastoplast pink frames and had one foot three sizes larger than the other. Okay, key words here. The elastoplast pink frames, a very unusual uh, description of the color. Elastoplast generally is associated with plasters and a symbol of sickness. Okay, there's a sense that something she could have been sick. She had one foot three sizes larger than the other. There's a clown like element to Titch Muller here. She uh, has one foot three sizes larger than the other. Okay, so there's a sense here that she has a physical disability. When they, now the they is very important, it's the, the poet and Titch against they. When they pick teams for outdoor games, she and I were always the last two left standing by the wire mesh fence. Now, think of the imagery of the wire mesh fence. Where do we normally associate a wire mesh fence? That's right, it would be a prison. Okay, so when they pick teams, they were always the last two by the fence. Okay, think of the imagery there. You have all these kids happy, they've all been picked, and there's two left standing. Now, you may think they might have been friends, but we see that they're not. We avoided one another's eyes, stooping perhaps to read high a shoelace. Now, that is a way of avoiding the awkwardness of the situation. So they uh, kneeled down, undid their shoelace, and did it up again. Or affecting the interest in the flight of some fortunate bird. Now, think of the terms here, and there's also creating of contrast. The bird and the girls are contrasted. The girls are behind the wire mesh fence. The bird is described as fortunate. The bird can fly away at any time. And pretended not to hear the urgent conference. Have Tubby. No, no, have Titch. Okay, so Tubby, we have uh, ascertained as the poet. Okay, so that's Wendy Cope. Um, uh, she is being um, picked on because of her weight and Titch because of her disability. And there, that shows you the, the cruelty of children here. They're having the conference in, in full view of the two girls and they don't want either of them. Usually they, again they, chose me the lesser dud and she lolloped unselected to the back of the other team. Two key words, lolloped. You can actually hear her walk in there and it's a, uh, uh, the, uh, the poet is using onomatopoeia there. She lolloped unselected, unselected. She wasn't picked, so she's the last person, and she went to the back of the other team. She knows she's not wanted. At 11, we went to different schools. In time, I learned to get my own back, sneering at hockey players who couldn't spell. Now, this is uh, very much in line with the messages and themes. The poet who had been bullied is now turning into a bully. And it's also, she is stereotyping every, every person who plays sport that they are those kids at the playground. And that is not always the case. Look at the last line of the poem. Titch died when she was 12. There's no sense of how she died or what, what happened. She died. And I suppose the only thing we're left with is the fact that in her 12 years on earth, she had a terrible time. And there's a message there. Okay, so I'm just going to look at the poetic devices or the themes first. Themes, bullying. Okay, very clear that... The kids, did they know they were bullying? Probably not, and that's a key message, that very often people bully without even knowing. People who get bullied may start bullying other people. Yes, that feeling of being put down and having been powerless, that they can then turn around and do the same to other people. The stereotyping we mentioned, the poet went through her life thinking that everyone was like this because they played sport. Is that the case? No. Death. It's uh, uh, in the last line we see death very prominent and it just shows you the, how fragile life is. Titch led a very, very difficult life and all of a sudden she died. How did the people feel when they heard she died and the, the, the way they, what they put them through in those years they were on earth? Okay, poetic devices we looked at. You may be asked a question to list three poetic devices in your poem and what effect they had. So the onomatopoeia and the lollop. And that just makes it very clear. It hits our senses to how she walked. You can hear the, the sound she made. The imagery is very, very uh, clear in this poem. Standing by the wire mesh fence, the two girls, you get a clear sense of happy people standing on one side and two girls, one tying their shoelace, one looking up at a bird, 
while they're standing, hoping that they, they're pretending they can't hear what's going on around them. The contrast between the girls uh, and the bird is very clear as well. The bird is fortunate. The bird can fly away. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you like the content, please give the video a like and hit subscribe if you're interested in more junior and leaving Sir Dingley's resources. Thank you.